Hello and welcome back to the Insurance Guru. My name is Ayanda Malele and thank you so much for coming back to the channel. So today I'm going to be tackling a very simple, easy question that is often plaguing clients. Do I insure my items with an insurer directly or do I approach a broker? Hmm, so let's look at these two and then you can decide for yourself. A direct insurance company is your main insurance company. Sun Time is a direct insurer. Outsurance is a direct insurer. Direct insurers are ones where you can literally pick up the phone, someone speaks to you on the phone and you take up the policy there and there and that's it. And then all you have to pay is maybe a sign-on fee and then after that your policy runs and that's that. So with regards to a broker, a broker is then like a third party, which is like an agent, it's a middleman between insurer and client. So what a broker will do is that they will first get their relevant FSP licenses and what they need in order to be a broker. Then they will go and approach different insurance companies, even the direct ones. So Santa might be on board, Marway might be on board, but this broker will have multiple insurance companies under his administration. And what that means is that if you require a quotation, that broker has got the power to not just quote you with one insurance company, but actually quote you with multiple insurance company. And at the end, you can see which insurance company is actually coming back with a better deal, better premium, and potentially better product. So that is the difference and that's the advantage that a broker does have over a personal or direct short-term insurance company. That's the first step. The second part of the broker is that because they're doing these nice things for you, they are possibly, not possibly all the time, going to charge you a broker fee. So there usually be a broker fee which gets paid to the broker, but they have to disclose this to you as a client and you are made aware of it. They also will have a percentage of commission that comes from the insurance company that the product that they sold you off. So if you took a policy under a broker with MyWay. MyWay will then be paying a certain commission amount to your broker for your policy. So now you see that, okay, fine, the broker obviously has to make money and this is why he has to charge his broker fee and he gets a, person, a certain percentage. The other advantage with a broker is that when it comes to different relationships, so say I've got a brokerage, I've got a very big book with an insurer and there's not a lot of claims that happen. It's really a nice book, good premium, claims here and there, but nothing major. So what I can do as the broker is then I can say, listen guys, I want better deals for my clients. And some of the bigger brokers have got that leverage to say, well, because you know I've got a good book with X insurer and Y insurer, then I get preferential rates that if a client went direct, would not be able to get those preferential rates. So that's the other advantage. Another advantage with brokers and you know the, the benefit is that it's someone that has been in the game for a long time and whether it's themselves as an independent or if they've got a team of other representatives working for them, it's someone who knows the game, who knows different products, will be able to help you weigh out the pros and the cons, basically what is the best product for you. And that is why to some degree I would say listen, Brokers might be the good way to go, especially if you don't watch my YouTube channel and you know nothing about insurance and are just trying to get a good deal. So when we look at those things, yes, now you're in your head you're saying, but they earn so much commission and they earn so much this. Well, obviously because they're saving you money and they're saving you time and they're taking care of your items and giving you advice which you would not normally know. So the, the benefit is really that there's someone who knows better and you're not sent into a major big call center. So that is me speaking for the brokers now and I've explained them a little bit further. Why I'd also say direct is better to go with. Sometimes direct is better to go with because if you know your insurance, you know what your products are um, and you've been in the game for a bit and even if not, a lot of these big insurance companies that are direct really have got thorough training training programs for their sales staff, client services, claims, etc. So what that means is that when you're speaking to someone giving you advice on the phone, they actually know a lot about what they're saying. They meet all the fit and proper requirements, so they've got the uh, background, the experience, um, everything. So when you're speaking to them, they actually are giving you sound advice. The only disadvantage is just that, well, you're not going to be getting a wide range of insurance products to choose from, but only one. So those are the pros and the cons. The other pro for me with the direct insurer is that if I've got a complaint, I can just call them now. 
and they'll sort it for me now without having to, to go through channels. But it's all dependent as well because if you find a very good broker and they're saving you premium anyways, they're saving you money, but the product still looks good, looks the same, you can still with, go with the broker. So in terms of my final answer, whether broker or direct, it really is a personal choice. I cannot say, but I would say, as long as you're watching this insurance channel, whether it's broker, whether it's direct, you are going to be aware of what you're covered for, where you're saving, where you're not you know, making the, the wisest decisions. So that is the long and short of broker versus direct. Hope I answered the question a little bit. If there's some clarity you'd like, please make sure to pop me a comment on the comments below and also like the channel, subscribe, tell your cousins, your friends, family members, everybody to come and watch my channel and subscribe. But I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.